Hello everyone. Welcome to the tutorial on building GUIs using NetBeans. In this tutorial, we will see one of the most attractive features of NetBeans, which is its GUI builder. What does NetBeans provide for building GUI? It gives you a what you see is what you get designer to create your GUI. Also, it gives you an easy interface to drag and drop components to create your layout. It comes with a component palette with pre-installed AWT and Swing components. We will be making use of this powerful visual editor to build a complete GUI application in just a few minutes. For this demonstration, I am using a system that has the Linux operating system Ubuntu version 11.04 and NetBeans IDE version 7.1.1. .1. For more details on the installation and requirements, please refer to the previous tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to use the form editor, the source editor, the palette inspector and properties features, add event handlers, and also compile and run our application. Let's get started and build a simple account balance application in this tutorial. For this application, we want to be able to input the amount credited to the account, the amount debited from the account, and compute the final balance. We will also add a picture to make our application look more attractive. Let's also have a menu bar on top for easy and quick navigation. Let's now move to NetBeans and start by creating a new project. From the file menu, choose New Project and choose a Java application. Say Next and give your project a name. I will name my project as Account Balance. Don't create a main class but set it as the main project. Say Finish. That should create a new project in your IDE. Now go back to File in the File menu and select New File. Choose Swing GUI Forms under Categories and JFrame Form under File Types. Say Next. I am going to call this Account Balance as well but you can give it any other name you wish to. Once you say finish, it takes you to the main design area. Let's get familiar with the GUI builder. On the right here is the palette. This contains the pre-installed swing and AWT components. Down here, below the palette is the properties window. This shows you the properties of the components as you choose them. On the left here is the navigator or the inspector which shows you the components that have been added to the frame here on the workspace in the design mode. On the top here is the source button. When you click on it, it takes you to the source code. As you add components to the design, it takes the corresponding source code and adds it to the source here. Let's go back to the design mode and see what components we will use today. We will be using some of the components from the palette such as buttons, labels, panels, tabbed panes, etc. to create our application. Now from the palette, let us choose a tab pane under Swing Control Containers. Select Tab Pane and click on the form. This should give you a tabbed frame. You can resize it using your mouse. Now go back to the palette and choose a panel and click again on your frame. That should give you a tab. Go back and choose another panel and click on the form again. That gives you two tabs totally. Now you can rename the tab by either double clicking on the tab or right clicking on the tab and selecting the edit text option. I will call the first tab as image and rename the second tab to balance. Now let's go back to the palette and add labels from swing controls menu. Choose label from the swing controls and add it to your form here. We are going to need six labels for our application. I have now added six labels to my form. You can position and align them as you click them. 
and also use the mouse to reposition or realign them. Now to change the text on a label, you can either double click on it or right click on it and choose the option edit text. Let us rename the labels now. I am going to call the first one as initial amount, the second label as credit amount, the third one as debit amount and the fourth one as balance. Initially, we will set the initial amount to be rupees 5000. Once we compute the balance, we can put it into this label. But for now, we will just make it as stars. Now, go back to the palette and choose a text field. And we will add two text fields one each next to the credit amount and to the debit amount. We should also leave the text field places blank. Let me edit the text and remove the existing text here. Let us resize it using the mouse. Once you have done that, you can go back to the palette now and choose a button. Add the button below your frame and you can change the label by right clicking on it, choose the edit text option and name it as get balance. Now this is our GUI. Let's now go to the image tab and add an image. To do that, let's go back to the palette and choose another label and drop it on the panel. Now from the properties window below the, work, below the palette, search for the icon property and click on the three dots here on the right. The icon properties window opens. Here choose the option external image, click on the three dots again here on the right and look for the image you want to include in your application. I have selected the image here. Click on OK. Let us reposition it using the mouse. You can remove the text here on the label by double clicking on it and removing the text. Now we have added an image. Let us next add a menu to our GUI. Go to the palette and select the menu bar option under swing menus. Choose menu bar and click here on top of the panel. By default, it already has two menu labels, file and edit. Double click on the edit text and rename it to help. You can also add a sub menu under file. Now in the inspector, or the navigator on the left side, right click on J menu 1, choose add from palette option and select menu item. That should add a menu item. You can also rename that to say exit. Now we have added a sub menu under the file menu and renamed that menu item as well. Now our GUI is more or less complete. Let us now look at a preview. Click on the preview design button on the top that shows a preview of what you have done so far. Here the buttons don't work yet. But once we add in the code you can have everything working. Let us close the preview. Now before adding the code let's give proper variable names to the input text fields. Go to the balance tab. Let us give proper variable names to these text fields here. Right click on J text field 1 in the inspector. Select change variable name. Let us change the variable name to credit amount. Click on OK. You can also right click on the text field here in the design mode. Select change variable name and 
change the variable name to debit amount. Click on OK. I am also going to call this final label that is the stars text field label as result balance. Select the change variable name option again and change the variable to result balance. Click on OK. Let us now see the code to get the application working. Now this is my sample code. What I want here is to get text from the credit amount, get text from the debit amount, compute the balance and place the amount in the final result balance. Let us copy the code here and let us go back to the IDE. Now right click on the get balance button, choose the option events, action and action performed. This will take you to the section of the code where you will have to write or paste the code for the action to be performed on the button press. Let me paste the copied code here. Let us save this code and go back to the design mode. Now let's add in the code to exit the application. Right click on the menu item, exit and choose events, action and action performed. It switches to, switches to the source mode and now we have to write the code to exit successfully from the application. That is going to be system dot exit of 1. Now save the code and go back to the design mode. Let us also add a shortcut to the exit menu item. Double click on the shortcut option here. In the window that opens, give the keystroke as Q and Control and click on OK. So now we have set Control Q as the keyboard shortcut to quit from the application. That's it, our application is now complete. Let us now run the application by pressing F6 on your keyboard. It has already selected the main class that has to run. Click on OK. And here it is. This is our GUI. Now let's run a check. Go to the balance tab. Enter the credit amount with rupees 300 and the debit amount as rupees 200. And say get balance. That gives us the correct amount in the balance. Let us now exit from the application. I'll go to the file menu and I'll click on exit. We could have also quit the application by pressing Control Q on the keyboard. Now with the application complete, it's time for the assignment. The task is to create a temperature converter application. It should have two tabs like the previous one. One to convert from the Celsius to Fahrenheit and another for Fahrenheit to Celsius. It should also take an input temperature and display the converted temperature. It should also have a menu bar on top that shows file and help options and under the file menu have an exit item with a keyboard shortcut to exit from the application. I have already solved the assignment. Let us see how it should look. I am going to run my assignment and this is my GUI. Now, let us enter the input temperature as minus 40 Celsius and let me click on get Fahrenheit. The application should give the correct converted output temperature. Now let us try the shortcut key to exit that is control X to exit from the application. So we have successfully exited from the application upon the keyboard shortcut. Watch the video available at the link shown on the screen. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch the video. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates to those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. 
supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict hyphen intro. This tutorial has been contributed by IT for Change. Thank you for joining us.